Hi everyone, and thank you so much for joining me in this episode of CBD 101. I'm very excited because today I am joined by David Little. He is our global agronomist here at Young Living. And one of the things that's been great about working with the current seed to seal certified suppliers is they have this wealth and history of knowledge. This last year in 2019 and 2020, there was a big boom in the hemp industry. A lot of farmers brought on hemp production and thought, oh, wow, big money, I can yeah. grow that. And there were a lot of farmers who won't be growing hemp again next year because they didn't quite figure out those points of, of finicky that the plant needed. How, and, and moreover, not just inorganic fertilizer and weed control, but add to it an element of how do I take care of these plants organically? How do I ensure that they have the right microbiology, the right nutrients, the right soil, the right climate, the right health, the right elevation, everything they need to be able to grow and reach their highest potential. And so are we gonna just jump right in and grow a thousand acres of industrial hemp at one of our corporate farms? Absolutely not. That would not produce the best quality CBD for our members. We're staying strong with our partners that are currently seed to seal certified suppliers mm -hmm. as we study out and learn and grow little by little, mm -hmm. share that knowledge with our current certified seed to seal suppliers and begin to expand into our own production. In time, we'll be vertically integrated, right? And be able to handle that whole food chain because we want to ensure the highest quality from the seed all the way till it's sealed in the bottle. Beyond that, we're studying different types of blends and, and ways to work things most efficiently. But at the same time, just because we know we want to ride that horse, we can't shoot the horse we're riding. Right. Right? So that transition's gonna take a little bit of time. So tell me now, after having uh, gone through this first grow and almost going into harvest, what are you going to do different this net for the next grow this fall? I really have to tip my hat to Mark Lowe, who is the director of operations in our global, global farms. He was very smart in having us grow slowly and smart strategic steps forward. Okay, because that's enabled us to learn the hard knocks without losing our shirt doing so. Uh, there's a neighboring farm uh, in Nevada that planted just over a thousand acres of hemp, mm -hmm. invested a little over $23 million in infrastructure, equipment, so forth, mm -hmm. and they lost it all. Mm -hmm. We don't want to go there, right? So as we grow slowly, I think we would just continue that approach. Take on a small strategic set of learning experiences, make sure we get the right genetics, the right grow, the right program, the right organic fertility, the right harvest procedures, the right extraction procedures, so on and so forth, so that as we expand, not only do we get better, we help our partner farms get better, and it elevates an already excellent product to the highest level. Thank you so much for watching this episode of CBD 101. Please remember to like and subscribe, and we look forward to seeing you next time.